Hi again everybody, welcome back to another video and I think DJI are really trying to test me to see how many videos I can possibly put out in one week. So anyway, it seems there is a new firmware update for the DJI Mini 2. So on this video I'm going to quickly run you through what's new and give a quick demonstration on the major part anyway. So let's get into it. So as you can see on screen we have version 01.02.0300 and this give us, gives us the added ability to control orientation of aircraft when flying forward during return to home. Now I'm going to give you an absolutely fantastic demonstration on that in just a second so just bear with me. We have the fixed rare issue of the aircraft drifted during flight. Now, huge one here. Drones do drift naturally, especially if you've got a crosswind. There's been numerous times when I've seen videos where people have said that the drone is drifting um, and it's simply been, and it has been a crosswind. And the reason you know it's a crosswind is because at the end of the day, they've flown it one way and it's drifted one direction. Then they've flown it back and it's drifted the other direction, which of course the only constant is a crosswind. So that is one of the major issues that has been occurred but it does seem that in this case DJI have identified that the aircraft does possibly drift in certain circumstances and it looks like there is a drift issue and fix within this firmware but once again I would like to repeat firmware and bits and pieces like this these are the ones that fix issues like that app updates done so you know hopefully if you have got any drifting issues this firmware update that actually does affect flight performance should do the trick for you but don't rely on an app update to fix something like that because that's not how it works. So the next thing then is to do with the aircraft gimbal vibrating during descending when you are returning to home. Again, I'm sure some people must have seen this on their footage when they've obviously been returning to home automatically. Drone's been descending and maybe some vibrations from the gimbal. Again, I mean, f just talking personally, you know, I'm not getting the app crashes, so I I'm unable to help with that. I've never had any gimbal shakes during return to home, purely because I don't use it. I always, always, always land manually, um, just for safety reasons, really. Um, and again, I've never really suffered from any drift whatsoever um, on my drones at all. But like I said, that's not to say that it hasn't happened for you guys. So hopefully this will solve those issues. Right, so let's get into the main part of the video. And I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this little orientation difference so what I'm going to do is on screen now you can see I'm going to be taking a flight out and we're going to get a few hundred meters out and then stop. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly return to home. Let's press that button and then on the return flight what I'm going to do is obviously this is fully returning to home. I'm not touching the controls at all but when I do I'm going to press that little left stick. And I'm going to try and adjust the yaw or the orientation of the aircraft during return to home. Now, as you can see, it isn't just not doing it whatsoever. Um, it's just absolutely fixed forward. Whereas the DJI Mini 1 or the Mavic Mini, that did have this option enabled already. But it's something that's been missing from the DJI Mini 2. So it seems it's added that now. So let's test it out. So I'm going to bring the drone back and I'm going to land. And I'm just going to quickly update the firmware. So let's back out of the camera screen onto the firmware screen. Let's update that and then skip to the end because you don't need to see that. And as you can see, that's 99% and we are done. Now, one thing to note is because this is a firmware update for the Mini 2, and this is very, very important, okay? App updates generally do not affect absolutely anything at all, but firmware updates do. So the chances are a lot of your settings, your return to home settings, um, or your max distance and max height will of reset, okay? So you need to make sure before you fly that all those distances and all those settings are correct to how you want them because they will reset with a firmware update okay so just be aware of that because last thing i want here is to just not realize that this has happened and then you know your return to home isn't as high as what it was before um or a setting's wrong and then something happens with your drone right so now we're all updated let's go for a flight again and i'm going to demonstrate the difference so if we fly out again i think we're about what, 145 meters something like that let's hit that return to home now 
Whereas before, when I used the left stick to try and yaw or change the orientation of the aircraft, it was fixed and wasn't doing anything. Now, as you can see on screen, it is doing it absolutely fine. And this is just to demonstrate that new feature. Okay, so obviously that's demonstrated it absolutely fine. So basically the idea behind this is obviously when you're returning to home, you can still look round while the drone returns to home automatically, probably to just check where you are and you know make sure that you're not gonna hit anything. It's a great obviously thing to uh, to check, but um, yeah, it's been missing from the Mini 2 for all this time since launch, but the Mini 1 did have it. Now the Mini 2 has got it as well. Right, so hopefully you find that little information video useful that's the main differences and like i say you know little little apology for myself you know um i've sort of often wondered whether there is actually a little drift issue um because i've never really experienced it and when i have it's been pretty obvious it's just been a side wind but many of you have mentioned that it has been you know an issue for you and you know despite numerous reports about app updates fixing drifting or not fixing drifting they, they tend to not do that, but this firmware will hopefully fix that for you and give the ability to fix the orientation so you can change that when you're flying home and this gimbal issue that I've never seen anybody complain about, but DJ must have identified that it's there. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the full back catalog on videos from the DJI Mini 2. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and possibly subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.